Game Maker How To. Switch your fonts and control things like how the text is drawn. So basically things like a little bit of centering and positioning, placement of those fonts. Uh, one of the most annoying things when I'm making little games with Game Maker is you put the text somewhere, it's not quite in the right spot, and you keep having to nudge it left, nudge it right, and of course, trying to center it. Because you find centering is often a really useful thing you can do with the text. That way it obviously keeps it centered in some point. So here we go. You'll see here I have a room. The width of the room is 800, and the height is 600. Let's do a little bit of drawing. To do that, I've got an object here called O Draw, and I'll just show you a few of the commands that I find helpful when drawing stuff out. You'll see here I've made a font. So one thing you can do in the font folder here is you can create a font, and I can go like font big, and it doesn't really matter what font you take there. I'll leave it Arial, size 24, bold, hit OK. Okay, that font is sitting there, right? Font big. You'll see I have another one here, font cool. Little computery font that I'll use. Now, when I actually go to my object to do a little bit of the drawing, I'll use those fonts first of all. So when I do start to draw, let's draw a little bit of text here. And you should already know that uh, the draw object, you can only draw in the draw event. So you'll see here I'm inside of the draw event. And here's a little line here, draw set color that's always a good one to use so let's uh let's just draw in black and here's a basic draw command draw text tell it where to draw so i remember my room was 800 wide so i could go 400 comma 30 and say testing testing okay and let's see this one draw out Slow. There we go. Testing, testing. Now you can see where it started the drawing. It started the drawing right about there at 400. Okay, out of my 800. And you can see it doesn't really look centered. So one of the first things we'll just show you here is how to do the basic centering commands on this. So to get the centering, before you actually do your draw command, you do a little set alignment. And it's called draw, set. And you have two draw sets you can do here. You can set the up and down, which is called the V align, vertical align. And you can set the horizontal, the left right align, H align. So let's do that one, H align. And you have to give it a parameter. You can see here it's waiting for it. And if you look up in the help files, it'll tell you that it's called font align underscore. And they have some built in ones you can do here. So you can see here for left and right, the horizontal, you can set it to the left. You can almost certainly set it to the right. You can set it to the center. Okay, and center is the one for horizontal. So once I go horizontal center and you give this a test, you'll see now this will be set horizontally. Now we should note that while you're watching this, even though now it is beautifully centered, in the middle of the screen. From now on, every single draw command that draw draws stuff out, it's gonna center it on the X and the Y position that you've mentioned. So if I gotta go to draw some other text after this, it's still in center mode. So you just have to be careful. If you start doing this, make sure every single time you draw, you either reset your horizontal alignment, or at least be aware what you left it at the last time you were drawing. Now you may wonder, what does the vertical alignment do? Basically the same thing. Right now I'm drawing at a height of 30. That's the Y value. If I also set this to do a little draw, set, V align, FA middle, it basically means this word will be the height of 30. I can't do it with my finger here, but Basically, the middle of the letter, up and down, vertically, is going to be centered on the height of 30. That's not bad, too, because if you decide to change your text later, maybe that's a good thing, and it keeps it basically in the same spot. But then again, you may want to set your vertical align to something like top or bottom, 
so if you do grow your font size later on that the text stays stays you know aligned to the top or aligned to the bottom so let's give you a little example here let's go font align top that way the top of this letter will be at a y of 30 and let's also do a little font change here draw set font font big and you'll see what I mean when I change this now this is the point where the text was drawn and aligned to so if I actually end up changing my font now and I switch to font cool you'll see that the text still in that exact same spot so sometimes useful certainly I love the centering command that makes life a lot easier now I'll just do one last one here that I find useful or a lot of uh, beginners ask about um, it's this one here draw set alpha for those who don't know about alpha alpha is basically how solid something is drawn so if I say an alpha of one it draws this solid so it would be exactly what you just saw but if I change this to alpha 0.3 and you know what I like to put the zero there just so it stands out that there is a decimal if you set it to 0.3 you'll see that when this thing draws out it's only 30 percent whoops classic error here well the text is 30 percent of solid right it's uh, it's faded out but you'll realize my own little advice earlier on of watch out how you leave the draw modes because everything else is faded too. Once you start fiddling with these alphas and aligns, stuff starts to draw out differently. So you should remember that after you do a command like that, you can put it back to one. Okay? And if you knew you had some other text you were also going to be doing, you could set the H line back to regular, which is FA left. Okay, That's basically it. Those are a few little tricks that uh, people that have trouble placing their text uh, usually like to see. Uh, easy to use too, and uh, have fun with those. Thanks for watching.